book find it? How was I supposed to know you only had eyes for Camilla Valerius? I mean, it's not like I did an entire quest based around winning her heart for you. Oh, forget it. Let's just go to bed. You take that tent over there, I'll have this one, and we'll discuss, uh... <clears throat> our business relationship in the morning. Very well, Final. I've thought on it, I've slept on it, and I've decided as follows. Your responsibilities to me will be to carry all of my stuff, kill all of my enemies, <coughs> help me in my quest to supplant General Tullius as the primary Imperial Bye. officer here in Skyrim, and in return I shall keep the secret that you forged a letter from Sven to Camilla Valerius. Does this deal seem fair to you? Oh, I will also give you gear. You lead, I'll follow. How splendid, you agree. Well, then, in that case, the first step in my plan is to finish looting these corpses and then perform the role of a courier to go to Whiterun. I suspect they'll be paid for this. And getting money is a vital part of my plan. In fact, you might say it's the key part of my plan because eventually I think I'll just hire a bunch of orcish mercenaries and take over General Tullius's role by force. No, on second thought, that is an incredibly stupid plan. Well, don't worry, Findel. I have plenty of time to come up with a better one. Meanwhile, as I said, I have some junk for you to carry. What do you want me to carry? Basically, and without limitation, and bearing in mind that this is a non-exhaustive list, all weapons, armor, arrows, healing potions, stamina potions, medical potions, food, ingredients, books, scrolls, and miscellaneous items we loot from every idiot dumb enough to challenge me. Similarly, any items, including but not limited to all types of items described above, that we happen to find lying on the side of the road, or in the possession of anyone who looks at me funny, or who I think looked at me funny. Did you catch all that? Excellent. Moving on. You know, Findel, thinking aloud just now, I have come across two rather massive flaws in my plan. The first of which is, I don't actually know the way to right run. I assumed I would just follow this road, but so far it's not taking me anywhere interesting. And secondly, my gear is, frankly, substandard. This, this, this is not the gear that should be given or worn or used by the Imperial Commander here at Skyrim. And therefore, I think it is in our pressing interest to find new gear as quickly as possible. The good news here is that I'm an orc, orcs are excellent smiths, and all I need is a great deal of iron. Oh look, a mine! <laughs> and a bandit! Stab! Slash! Orc block! Orc shield block! You cannot hurt me, sir! I am a far superior combatant, find all you missed. Find all that was embarrassing, please shoot this man. Well done, find all. You will make an excellent squire yet. Now, as much as I'd like to see you in a fur skirt, I suspect that you would prefer to get through the night without another incidence of workplace sexual harassment, and for my part, I would like to continue to have someone in my company capable of carrying all the raw materials with which I'll need to make new and better gear. With that in mind, I propose that we return to Riverwood, sell all the junk that you're carrying, and return here and strip mine this mine bare to make better gear. I hasten to add that, for legally binding reasons under a doctrine I invented in my sleep last night, this aforementioned new gear that I seek is not contained within the list of items and equipment that I expect you to carry. I call this doctrine common sense, and it seems to be badly lacking here in Skyrim. Why, for example, did you know that when the Imperials were going to cut my head off, and again I stress that this is that this was a mistake, it was a paperwork error, they were going to cut my head off before they cut the head off of Ulfric Stormcloak, the notorious rebel leader. No, it doesn't make much sense to me either. And yes, I know that I have an absolutely perfect head, one that Ulfric could never compete with, but still, one would think the pragmatic approach would be to remove Ulfric's head first, and then worry about everyone else. What? What in the name of Malakath's soiled toilet is going on here? These people are supposed to be my friends, and they've locked me out of their home. This will not do. 
I need somewhere to rest for the next couple of hours until the store opens and I can sell all of the loot that you're graciously lugging around for me. I had meant to catch some Z's in Hadvar's bed, but... Well, I can make some of this excess weight disappear by using resources to improve my weapons and armor. Final, I've accidentally acquired a mace that I don't need. You did not see me steal that. Or rather, you did, but again, I hasten to stress the whole, um, <clears throat> you can blackmail me, but I can blackmail you back. I know certain letters to Camilla Valerius. Yes. Anyways, um, I shall bestow upon you a present, a, a, an improved hunting bow. With Riverwood closed, I think I need to come up with a new plan. And my plan shall be this. I'll drown more sailors than the mermaid shall. I'll slay more... No, wait a minute. Um... Hmm. Here's what we'll do, Findel. We shall scour the town for barrels and whatnot, and we will take the things from the... Oh, they're empty. Well, there goes my plan to sell the town's own junk back to it. Hold on, I will come up with a new plan. We'll go back to Embishard Mine, kill all the bandits there. We'll take over the mine. We will then sell the iron to Riverwood at an absolutely exorbitant price, and we will make lots and lots of septums. By we, I of course mean I, because under the terms of the Squire Employment Act of 3E119, all monies earned by a squire shall be held in trust by his knightly master, in this case, me. And, interesting fact, the Squire Employment Act of 3E119 was never formally repealed, because the Empire got too caught up in fighting a civil war. <laughs> and now here we are in the middle of another civil war thrown together by a mere paperwork error. Well, you know, Fido, the more things change. Now let's see, what shall I use on these bandits? We have uh, zombies to raise. Oh, this bow that I, I made for you, but I think I'll test it out first, because I wouldn't want you to have substandard equipment, you know. Yes, this should do nicely. Don't worry, Finder, I'll allow you to have it once I'm done with it, but of course, you are a squire, and therefore you should be used to using old cast-off equipment. And if you're not used to it, well, guess what? You'll have plenty of time to acclimatize yourself to such drudgery in my service. Finally, your apprenticeship begins. I will now teach you the art of fast sneaking. It's where you sneak, but you go fast. I don't like the looks of this. Well, I can understand that, Finder. It is a rather unpleasant place, even by Skyrim standards. Yes, I've noticed operational security is not very much a Skyrim thing. The, take, for example, the back door at Helgen, for crying out loud. Finally, I'm a worse shot than you are. Perhaps you could teach me something. Or, uh, oh, you would, would you? Well, I'll be counting out your coin, and your armor, and anything else of value. Ooh, Carl Corundum. Well, I'll have that off you. Where did you even get a Corundum ingot? This is an iron mine. Why does this make any sense? Well, that looks unfortunate. Ah! His misfortune is my good fortune. I've obtained a book. Finally, do you know how to read? Perhaps you might enjoy reading the last moments of this poor, unfortunate person who got caught in a rock slide. And if you wouldn't enjoy it, well, then you should count yourself blessed that you don't know how to read. You thought you had a guard posted outside? Oh, the irony! At least you had a guard. The Imperials at Helgen didn't have anything guarding their back door except for a bear that was not in their employ. Ah. Excellent shooting, Finder. I'm so glad that I've chosen you to be my squire. Oh, this one's gone in the water. How unfortunate. No. Nothing for it. Okay, that's four bandits down. I wonder how many more could be in this mine. It can't... It can't be that profitable an enterprise. Do 
not run away from me, sir. But... Do not attempt to use magic on me, sir. Also, you are Khajiit. You have fur, and yet you're wearing fur. Is this cannibalism? No, not cannibalism. Um, the equivalent of humans wearing right human you. skin? Unclear. In any event, I'm overburdened. Findle, this is where you shine. Excellent. Now let us draw swords together. Lead on. Well, I shall. But first, we must help ourselves to all the gold around here. And whatever's in this chest, including lots of gold, a necklace of the Minor Knight. I'm not a Minor Knight! I've just slain a Minor Knight, apparently. A Minor Knight who was going to use magic on me. How foolish of him. Findle, back. I have more things for you to carry. What do you want me to carry? Everything I'm not using, Findle. We've been over this. <laughs> I'm not convinced that you know how to use a battle axe, but... Just follow my example. Remember watching me kill those bandits earlier with it, and I'm sure you'll do decently. Yes, I know, I've got your bow and you've got my axe. It's very, very fellowshipy. Spell to whom clairvoyance. Well, that might come in handy someday. I hear banging of metal on metal. You're doing it wrong. Bad blacksmith. Now I have death. Perhaps I don't need archery lessons from you after all, find I seem to know what I'm doing. Come out, come out. There you are. I meant to do that. I meant to scare him. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with my food here. It's what all orcs do. I think. There we go. Hello, little bandit. Alright, we'll have a good old-fashioned sword fight. I'll punch you once. Boy, bandits, don't you know the sacred and orc, venerable orc tradition of punch first before you draw swords? That hurt! I'm going to have to dip into my enormous food bag and have something to eat to salve that wound. How dare you lay hands on me? Food poisoning? Uh. How embarrassing. Well, we'll just go with the healing potions then. Ugh. Have some. There we go. This mine is now mine. Well, very well, find I'll give you a 10% interest out of gratitude. And now a word from our sponsor, me! Le commerce. Yes, yeah, so this time I will agree to it. I meant to agree to it last time, but whoop, finger slipped. And there is no back button, so. Oh, too bad. I'm so sad. Alright, so, what do we have? I wanted to pick this up, thank you. I just matrix caught that. 